F1 is in search of a true fairy tale chateau. Chateau Pichon Longueville is probably the strongest contender. The witchery of the king conical roofs sitting atop their circular towers leads the building an almost magical feel. The chateau is located in Brac, one of the famous wine villages in Bordeaux area in France. Three of five greatest chateaux of France are in this village, partly because of the unique geographic conditions here. They are Chateau La Fille Rothschild, Chateau La Tour, Chateau Mont Rothschild. Surrounded by all these eminent chateaux, Chateau Pichonbaum is nonetheless well known. Because of the days of glory and times of despair it went through, and those admirable efforts it made recently. Today, our host Selvan will guide us into this aged chateau to discover the legendary story and the great wines behind its fairy tale look. Selvan, wine writer of La Figaro and Les Echoes of France, is well respected in the wine arena for his expertise and a contribution to the wine education through his articles and his salons. We're in the barrel cellar of uh, Chateau Pichon Baron, and all around us we see the barrels of uh, 2008, where the wine uh, from the very beautiful vintage of 2008 is uh, maturing in barrel. Our guest host of today is Christian Sealy, director manager of Axum Lisums, the group which Chateau Pichon Baron belongs to. Three bottles of wines of different vintages are prepared by him. To give us an idea of what a Pichon Baron is like. Well, I thought it would be fun to taste、uh, first of all the 2008. Now, this is a sample bottle which comes from uh, uh, one of the barrels around us, and that will give us an idea of what、uh, a lovely vintage 2008 was. And then we'll go on and taste、uh, 2005 Pichon Baron and 2000 Pichon Baron, and these were two very great years with slightly different personalities. Chateau Pichon Baron 2008. Dark, substantial, slightly oaky fruit. Lots of substance on the palate here, with good depth and extract. Polished with a ripe tannic core and a rather firm acidity. This wine has a fine composition, witty but elegant. Fine potential. It,、uh, it was a vintage where it was very important to、uh, to work extremely hard in the vineyard. That's always true, but it, there are years when you have to work harder than others. And 2008 was like that. It was very important to go through the vineyard many times and pick out the grapes that weren't perfect, throw them away. And this process of selection of just the perfect grapes in the vineyard is one of the things that makes a great wine like、uh, like Pichon Baron. It's already very fruity, I think. Yes, it's it's a character of the 2008 vintage that、uh, it was、uh, a lovely summer, but not too hot, and so we had uh, uh, there's a lovely freshness in the wine because although you had nice sunny weather, it wasn't too hot. There were quite cool evenings, and that combination of、uh, sunny days and coolness in the evening makes a very fresh,、uh, delicate fruit, and 2008 is is characterised by that. The winery history of Pichon family could date back to the 17th century. Jacques de Pichon, Baron de Longueville, began to put together the vineyard. The reputation of the wine was established in a few years. In 1850, half the debts of Joseph de Pichon Longueville, the property was divided into two separate estates, which were the origin of two famous chateaus in Bordeaux area: Chateau Pichon Baron and Chateau Pichon Lenay. However, wines of Pichon Baron were low in quality since then, due to lack of leadership and investment. Things changed when the chateau was purchased by Axel Melisums.、Uh, we bought the property、uh, at a time when、uh, when Pichon needed,、uh, shall we say, a little love and attention. It needed some investment, and so、uh, we rebuilt the winery. And we'll have a look at the winery in a minute. And we've done a lot of work in the vineyard. Uh, just, just、uh, looking after the vines and bringing the vineyard、uh, up to shape. 
the result of this investment is a head rise in quality. About 300 million franc was used to re-equip the winery and improve the management. The chai wasn't just renovated; it was completely rebuilt. The new buildings face each other across the fish pool in front of the chateau, and yet they are hardly noticeable as they are sunk into the ground. The cellars, the only underwater one in Europe, extend beneath the pool in front of the chateau. The cool waters above help to moderate temperature below. Why a, a company of insurance wanted to invest in the vineyards? Well,、uh, there is.、Uh, Of course, a cultural aspect.、Uh, wine is a, a very important part of the, the cultural life of,、uh, of France, and AXA is a very major company in France. And so, I think it was natural to、uh, to own a property like this.、Uh, but also,、uh, it's、uh, it's actually an extremely good investment. We we look on these as、uh, a blue chip, long term property investments because if you own a great historic vineyard like this and you make.、Uh, Great wine in the in the in the property. Well, it, it works well as an investment as well as being a huge pleasure. Today, the reputation of Pichon Bahon had already been restored, with a string of admirable wines produced, particularly during the latter years of the preceding decade. A newly equipped chai completed in 1991, a new bottling line and a new practice in the cellars were the cornerstone of the improvements. Although the march onwards did not stop there,、uh, the wine uh, will be uh, made in September, October, and、uh, then it will age for 18 months in these wooden barrels before it is put in the bottle. 18 months. 18 it's months. Not. It's a long time, but it's important to、uh, to enable the wine to develop、uh, in oak and.、Uh, Uh, the, the possibility to give it a year and a half to、uh, uh, to to develop in the barrel is actually important for the development of the wine. Chateau Pichon Bahon, 2005. A bright and forceful nose here, showing crunchy fruit with a fresh red currant and black currant character, with a dash of pepper. Very pure and typical Baron style on the palate as well. Which has supple tannins, well covered with a fine texture and a nice acid backbone. But 05 was、uh, was really very special. It was a year when everything went right. We had the、uh, um, perfect、uh, flowering season. We had a wonderful sunny summer, and then a beautiful September and October for the harvest. And the result is、uh, one of the greatest wines that Pichon Baron has ever made. The perfect 2005 is the result of not only the nice weather conditions, but also the excellent geographical environments. The vineyards at Pichon Bahon cover 73 hectares of typical gravel, and are planted with 62% Cabernet Sauvignon, 35% Merlot, and 3% Cabernet Franc. The appellation benefits from a relatively hot and humid climate. Sunny and airy, influenced by the proximity of Jurong to Astoria, and subject to the rhyme of tides. You can see here the、uh, the stones, which are, are, are the heart of、uh, the terroir of、uh, of Pichon Baron, and there are deep beds of gravel like this going down very far, and the roots of the vines will go down. Uh, Uh, 20 meters、uh, into the ground. 20 meters. Yes, and it is that root structure in、uh, deep gravel beds、uh, that, that gives Pichon、uh, the greatness that is、uh, characteristic of uh, of, uh, of Poyac from this、uh, this part of Bordeaux. Do you think that、uh, it's because it's at 20 meters in the ground that、uh, you have some minerality in your wine, or in your wine, or not? It's a mixture of things. The, the, there's the、um, You get a wonderful drainage with、uh, these deep gravel、uh, beds, and, and drainage is very key to making great wine. But also because the vine is、uh, going down very deep, the vine is working very hard in the soil, and、uh, you have a huge root structure bringing all the goodness from the soil up into just a few bunches of grapes. So when you have a terroir like this, which uh, uh, gives deep, deep roots,、uh, then、uh, that that is what you really need to make something great. Chateau Pichon Bahon 2000, a very dark, impenetrable color. The nose is closed, but gives some notes of roasted fruits and roasted nuts. 
full-bodied and elegant, powerful and refined on the palate. The tannins are harmonious and silky. The length is truly impressive and almost captivating. And 2000 also was、uh, a beautiful year. It's a very balanced, harmonious year because that's how the the year was. It's important to to bear in mind with these、uh, these great Bordeaux wines that、uh, they take their personality from from the the year in the vineyard. So if you have a year with a lovely summer. Uh, with balanced weather, not too hot, not too cold, you get a wine that has that kind of personality. And 2000 is like that. It's、uh, it's fresh, balanced, ripe.、Uh, it's a real pleasure to drink now. See you. you. So 2000, it was、uh, also an expensive vintage, but because it was very good, not because it was a 2000. I mean, the, the next、uh, century. Well, it was it was a combination of circumstances. The year 2000, of course, was a very important、uh, turning point, and、uh, so everybody wanted to have 2000. And then, actually, by chance, it just happened to be a great vintage as well. So everybody wanted 2000, and they were right. It's very good. How do you find that now? Ready to drink now, but I think we can、uh, we can wait for quite five or ten years. I think also. Yes. Yes. Whereas the 2005 needs a bit of time. The 2000 has begun to begun, open up yes, open and up. and is is ready is ready to drink, but it will also keep and go on getting better if you want to keep it. It's not a teenager, but it's not also an adult. Yes. I think. Yes. But,、uh, could be a right human, I think. Yes, I think、Very、so. Beautiful. <laughs> The wines of Chateau Pigeon Bahun are powerful, rich in tannins, and characterized for being both elegant and masculine. They have an exceptional length in the mouth and possess a remarkable aging potential. Is it easy to match?、Uh, I mean,、uh, your wine with、uh, Chinese food? Well, I think so.、Um, I think that、uh, when you have a wine that、uh, that has this this element of balance,、uh, then Uh, it can marry with all kinds of、uh, of cuisine, and uh, uh, great Bordeaux wines are made to be drunk with food, and uh, they they、um, they always have when they're good a sort of delicate quality to them, which means that uh, uh, they don't overpower the food. They are made to be drunk at the table with various dishes, and uh, and I, I've had very many experiences of drinking、uh, my wines in China, and、uh, I think can work very well with、uh, with all kinds of.、Uh, Um, gastronomy over there. Just like the 2000 vintage, Chateau Pichon Bahun is on the way of growing. With continued commitment, we should see more great wines from Pichon Bahun over the coming years. <laughs>